today we're going to be playing Dojin games, and I have a list of you, well, list of different type of <sighs> different different type of Dojin games just for your viewing pleasure. Now, first of all, what is a Dojin? Well, a Dojin is a general Japanese term for a group of people or friends who share an interest actively activity, hobbies, or achievement. Meaning some Japanese fanboys like some gay anime and made a game out of it. So yeah, enjoy. Well, the first game we're gonna... Ah, loud. The first game we're gonna be reviewing is... Air Tennis. It's very fun if this thing didn't lag so much. But, you can't make everything perfect, can you? Choose a character basically pong in tennis style look at the lag here man oh my god but whatever <laughs> this game is one of the funnest pong games I have ever played good job to whoever made this start to I'm pretty sure the wow that's some lag right there man uh, boom so basically and then it pierces stuff and then Very good. And then there's and then I miss. But yeah. I found it to be one of the funnest doji games actually. Since you actually have to think in this game, well, not really think, but like try. Wonder where this anime came from. And so yeah, you can't hit, you can't hit yourself, or else little girl feels pain. Mucho peino. Oh my god! But basically, if you get a good hit. You can get hyper mode, which is like the godly smash hit. So since this game lacks a while, I'm gonna cut this first. So yeah, this is air tennis. Bye bye. The second game we're gonna review is called Asahina, and yes, this is the girl from Loud Again. This is a girl from um, Melancholy of Suzumi Haruhi. I like this game pretty much too. Yeah, although the pixels don't really look like her, but whatever, you know. I'm just gonna start over. Whatever. Well, basically, little girl packs big guns, and when I mean big guns, I mean laser guns. You can actually. I like how the creators emphasize her chest in this game because it actually jiggles and stuff. And of course, this game you have no life, so when you touch something, you're boned. Like this. Apparently, pigs kill you. So yeah. Now I'll be showing you some stuff. Wow. Glitch. Okay, I have no idea what happened back there, but whatever. I cut something out because some lag. But. The fun part about this game actually is because of the weapons you get. For every weapon you get, it's like a crystal. Weapons are crystals in this game and they come in different sizes, each with their own special uniqueness that kicks butt to little ugly pig things. Like this. And they act as a shield so you get two hits now. And in this case, we get Rifle Dart, which is headshot, basically. Pwn. And over here is the most useless weapon, I think. Super V attack. 
Ah, uh, just like that. If you get hit, you lose your weapon. But it acts as a shield for you, so not bad. And this is my favorite. You charge it up, but it's that it's actually from the show if you checked your anime correctly or watched your anime correctly. Here it comes. Pwn that pig's ass! Mikurubi. Mikura, I mean. Isn't it Mikura? I could sworn it's Mikura. So I skipped the part where game freeze like a little faggot. Let's charge in some laser. Pwn that pig's ass. Oh my god, that's rigged. And of course, sadness. <laughs> this review is actually going to be longer, I guess. Well, not really, since it's lagging right now, but. Oh, shoot. Great. Well, I'm done with this because I'm really not in the mood of waiting for a lag. The third Dojin game we're going to play is called Demolition Gunner. It's sort of like those air raid games, you know? I'll just play it easy for now. <coughs> it's, yeah, just like that, you know. I seriously don't know what show this was taken on of, but apparently some guy likes helicopters. So yeah. I think it's pretty fun if the weapons were a lot more powerful and a lot more unique because the creators of the game must have been taking a shit while doing this because seriously there isn't a lot of uniqueness in this game. Just get a shield, blow the crap out of a tank, blow the crap out of another tank, blow the crap out of a very big tank. Infinite Napalm, which does bullshit. Get some stars for some points. This game is pretty useless. Pretty fail. But, I can't do better. So, what am I to say? It's bad. And besides, it's actually not that bad. I actually found it amusing. Amusing. I are going to die. But, yeah. S this game would be so much better. Like, so much. If it had, like, laser cannons coming out of its sides or something. So, yeah. This is Demolition Gunner. The fifth game I'm going to review is called. Drill, uh, I don't even know. Drill, milky, punch, whatever. Let's see. I've totally forgot how you do this. Oh, I remember now. Shoot. Okay. Uh, huh. The controls are a little messed up here. I remember. Oh yeah, now I remember. It's not bad. I'll say that. It's not fun or it's not boring either. It's just walk around punching cute little innocent plants and chef that having to walk in your way. The more you kill, the more points you get. I can't even run in this game. That makes me sad. No special abilities. Just slapping some poor fish around. Stealing kiwis that fall out of Aliens, apparently. Oh, look, a breakdancing peanut dude. Uh -huh, they're trying to kill me. Get away, unclean one. No. Who the hell keeps making these pig dudes? Well, oh my god. Asexual reproduction. <laughs>